rigged up a little something. A little duct tape hanging there. And the always necessary shovel. And the tow chain. Doesn't get much better than that. Hey, there's Coral doing her thing in minus 10. Gotta keep that little horse shelter clear. Surprise! You spend as much on a tractor as you would on a good pickup truck, and guess what it comes with? Well, it comes with a lot of good stuff, but it doesn't come with a toolbox. So here's the thing. The little old 1953 Ferguson tractor that I inherited from my dad. Guess what? It has a toolbox big enough for all the essentials. And so does the little John Deere 1025. There it sits right where I need it. Room for a ha claw hammer over there. Always want a shovel hanging out on the tractor. Sits beautifully right there. Hey, Howard here at 82 Maple, and I don't know how it is for you, but you know what? It seems like when I'm 300 yards away from my tool shed or my workshop, that's when I need a critical but simple tool. And without that tool, uh, a job that should be taking me 15 seconds, tightening a fitting, tightening some loose bolt, uh, pulling out a fence staple, something like that, becomes a 15 to 30 minute job. Then we get to the little cat mini excavator. Yeah, there's a toolbox under the seat, a pain to access. You need a key, gotta turn in on that lock there. That's the only thing keeping it shut. So about the only thing that's good for is some shop towels and a grease gun under there, maybe an extra tube of grease. Even my dump trailer has a toolbox. And the flat deck trailer, it's also got a well-stocked toolbox. Duct tape, and there's some hand tools buried down there under all the strapping. And between the glove box there and a little bit of underhood storage. I've got a really well stocked little toolbox, tape measure, all the good stuff. And hey, even the F-350 has a toolbox. Right there. Now here's the tools that I would like to have riding around with me at a bare minimum on any piece of equipment we've had. Good pair of cutters, really robust. Snip a fence, uh, snip twine, uh, all sorts of stuff. A basic crescent wrench, a robust set of pliers, uh, a flat blade screwdriver. Hey, I'll move this down to the end. Perfect for pulling out an ordinary fence staple. Little bit of a pry bar, just if we need to have a little extra oomph. And all sorts of things that you can do with the claw hammer. Hey, you might even be wondering, what was this fine claw hammer doing hanging on the, on the cat? What am I using that for when I'm excavating? Hey, you wouldn't believe it. But when I've got to drop this bucket, this go goes right in here. And on a cold day like today, when this is going to be stubborn, that pin's coming out. I've got pressure on it because the bucket is sitting on the ground, but you raise that bucket an inch and that pin is out, same on the other side. Hey, you can't beat having the tools you need when you need them, where you need them. Throw in some zaps. I know these are short, but if you string four of them together, you can go quite a long ways. And good old duct tape, of course. What handyman would be a handyman without some handy duct tape? Uh, that, and if it happens to be winter, you can tell I'm dressed for winter, an extra set of gloves hanging around so when uh, the pair you were wearing gets sopping wet during the job, you at least have something warm to drive home in. And you know what? It's just amazing to me how one can end up with a multi-thousand dollar tractor, multi, 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 um, 
and there's no room for any tools. That's what we're going to talk about. Yep, we're on the farm and our daylight has gotten away from us. Uh, no artificial lights out here. Uh, but I was just going to point out that John Deere did have a toolbox. It mounted up here. It didn't fit. Uh, it kept uh, brushing off with this. It was too cl close of tolerances. The spacer in here, if there wasn't the spacer, uh, the lid wouldn't open. Anyway, that was a failure. I'm not going to start talking about fit my failures mechanically because I don't have enough time on this video. So uh, we had to make do with something else. Come on in. Oh, and if you're wondering about this, yes, this is my truly redneck uh, support for a 10 foot long selfie stick for that new Insta360. More to come on that. Um, Anyway, it's warmer in here. We've just had this running and we're doing some work. The answer to the question of tools is in something called a ROPS Rack Pack. And for those of you that watched the episode a while back on the Big Tool Rack uh, from some folks from a company called Big Tool Rack, uh, it's absolutely amazing. But that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day. Hey, Coral just provided me with a little extra light here so you can see me in the darkness. That's gonna be really handy because we're gonna point out some things in here. So, problem solved. Thanks to the people at ROPS Rack Pack or that make ROPS Rack Pack. So here we have those cutters we were talking about. Hey, you gotta have a couple of bungee straps on board at all times. Uh, a hammer, yes. Throw that duct tape on there. It's got to glow in the dark or you're going to lose it in the field. Um, let's swivel around here. Oh, hey, let's not forget a roll of duct tape. And I'd forgotten to mention an essential tool on any uh, tractor or ATV we have is that tape measure. We're always having to fix a fence, do something that requires a precise measurement. And so there we go. Uh, over here. We got the cutters, we got the crescent wrench, we have the pry bar, the flat bay blade screwdriver, and a pair of pliers that can tackle what needs tackling uh, out in the field. And an extra pair of warm gloves, so when those you have those, you soak the gloves you're working in, and you need something warm and a change, there they are. You know what? Oh, we gotta go up here. Uh, a couple of extra lights are always hanging on here, headlamps, and there's those little zaps uh, that I was talking about, plus a couple of these. These also come from the people at uh, Big Tool Rack, and so uh, here I'll throw a little light on them. Thanks, Carl. Uh, and so you can wind this into a pretzel over on the Cap Mini Excavator. You may have noticed I literally, to keep my hammer from departing, kind of wound uh, this kind of a tie around a bar and I just put a twist on to keep the hammer from swinging around and ultimately landing on the ground. So there you have it. I hope that that's helpful in, in some sense. And... Uh, We've got tools wherever we travel. And one more thing. Yeah, I know, our sunlight is long gone. I said I, I always keep a shovel on every piece of equipment. Drilled a hole in the shovel. This is the stand for the blade. Drilled a hole through it, put a little pin in, and we've got a shovel wherever we go. And so there you have it, and we're off and rolling. We're prepared for just about anything he says optimistically. Well, there you have it. I'm gonna quit talking now and let a few pictures do the uh, rest of the talking. What do they say, a picture's worth a thousand words? Yeah, I could go on for that thousand words, but here's a few pictures of exactly how I fastened some of this. I hope it helps. And as Red Green would say, hey, hope this helps. We're all in this dream together. <laughs>